Brighton's finest. This is Juice. What was the last gig you went to as an audience member and what did you think? Be honest. Last big one I went to was uh, Ryan Adams at the Royal Albert Hall, which was absolutely incredible. If I'm being totally honest, it was absolutely incredible. I'm a huge fan of his anyway, so yeah, I was freaking out. What's the most disgusting thing you've ever found in a hotel room? Well, our bass player once slept, walked um, into my bed and we think that he thought he was in the bathroom so I woke up to find that he is he was very drunk <laughs> the night before and I woke up to find that he had uh, yeah weed the bed and I was covered in his urine <laughs> so very disgusting. that's the worst thing I've ever found <laughs> what's your strangest gig experience either as a player or a punter I guess maybe the strangest time was we we did an album launch on a boat on Loch Ness in Inverness. So yeah, we had like I think there was maybe thirty people we invite or thirty people bought tickets for this. It was quite a small boat. So yeah, we were, the driver thought it was funny whilst we were playing to like kind of take really quick turns, uh, try and create some sort of wave effect. So it was really choppy and. I didn't feel too hot <laughs> during the whole the whole set. So yeah, that was pretty bizarre and also quite eerie. What's the one stage move that you wish you could pull off? Oh man. Um probably the splits. Yeah, like the James Brown splits. I'm nowhere near agile enough to be doing that and I think my trousers are a bit too tight. Um but yeah, maybe maybe I need to do Pilates or yoga. If you ever want to do the splits on stage, I guess, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's your karaoke song? Oh, uh, Whitney Houston, uh, Love Somebody. <laughs> or or uh, Free Fallen by Tom Petty. Yeah. Recently, when I was back home for Christmas in Aberdeen, I did American Girl in a really, really sketchy bar in Aberdeen. And being the show-off frontman that I like to believe I am, I was, I jumped up on the tables and on the bar and thought everyone would like it would look like something from a Hollywood movie where everyone would join me not so much, <laughs> not so much I think they just wanted to murder me What's the most memorable either message or item you've received from a fan? I received a letter from a girl in Paris and it was uh, an incredibly heartfelt and honest letter that she gave me about um, how our music had affected her in, in a positive way when she was going through a bad time and uh, I've still got that letter and uh, yeah, it was yeah, a pretty poignant piece of writing Where did you go on your first real date and do you still speak to that person? I went to the cinema I went to see a real like, oh, it was Dreamcatcher by Stephen King it was such a bad movie uh, and I knew it was over when she took a phone call in the middle of the movie and just proceeded to have that conversation, which I detest. I hate talking. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. just rude it's, in general. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just bad human behavior. Um, and then she said she had to go, so we left, and she got picked up, and, and that was that. And I, I, I don't speak to her anymore. No. <laughs> What would be your dream merchandise as a band? I think a pinball machine would be pretty cool. Mm. Yeah, excerpts pinball machines. I'm quite into that. What's the best heckle you ever received? There's a funny one in Aberdeen that's kind of somewhat infamous now in that we we finished it. I think we were like three songs into our set. This is when we were teenagers. And someone at the back of the room shouted, play one you know. <laughs> <laughs> which is which is really good um, but I also had a this is funny I had a really brutal one in Italy we drove from Poland to Italy in one day to play a show and it wasn't that busy and the, we, we weren't going down very well and we, we were halfway through the set and this guy in the front row 
I can't say the word, but you can imagine. It's like the bad, bad word. He just said, you're a... and said it. And... I had nothing. I was brain dead. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. It was just <laughs> silence. He said, you are a... said it. Uh, oh, I don't have anything. I have nothing. So that was a bummer. <laughs> Brighton's finest. This is Juice.